Hey guys, I am at the place that I have been dying to come back to for a year now. And instead of living seven and a half hours away, I now live 30 minutes away from Ikea. I am here today to specifically look for curtain rods, but <laughs> I'm sure as I'm shopping, I will see other stuff that I absolutely need, right? <laughs> but I just really wanted to come here today to look at what they had, what was available, and what the prices were, just so I could keep all that information in the back of my head as I start to design the rooms and purchase stuff for the house. Now, I've been here before, so hopefully this time I do not get trapped in this human maze. I know how to get in. I know how to get out. I do have sweet Rennie Lou with me, so we're going to go and see what we can find. As soon as we walked in, they had this display by the front door, and I really like this look for the boys' room, the layering of the different bed spreads and the patterns. And I actually looked at this bed online, and it would be perfect for the look I'm going for in the boys' room. But the reviews were kind of hit or miss, and my teenage son is already 200 pounds, so I wanted to make sure I got a really sturdy bed for him. Next, we went check out the sofas, which Rin really enjoyed. She had to try out each sofa. I love the fabric on the sofa. It was like a thick canvas, but I didn't like the look of it. I don't like that long cushion on the front. I prefer separate cushions, but you could pick out the different colors that you wanted. I just thought the texture was really pretty. Okay, I loved this sofa. This is exactly what I want, and the price was right, but of course, it was temporarily unavailable so i'm gonna have to check back on this one and i always check the cushions to make sure they can come off and i can wash them that is most important when you get light sofas or any kind of sofas with kids i think these little love seats would be so cute in a kid's room if you needed a little extra seating even at the end of the bed instead of doing a bench you could do a sofa and jazz it up with some pillows for 119 I thought that was a great price okay this is exactly what I'm looking for in my master bath I want the cabinets at the bottom the glass at the front but I'm hoping that I can find it in an antique wood finish so I'm still on the hunt for that but this is exactly what I have in mind this is a little media cabinet, but I thought something like this would be cute in Ren's room for $89. Um, just to put her toys and everything in, just simple white. There's a smaller one in the back over there. Okay, these dressers were $179. I thought this would be great in my filming craft room. They would hold a lot of stuff. I took pictures. I measured. I think these will work really well so i'm gonna see about that when i get home see if it's gonna work in there okay ren loved this little kitchen set but i did not love the price i feel like we can thrift one for much cheaper of course i could make one for her but i think i have enough projects going on and actually the next day we found one at goodwill for ten dollars and she's been loving it I thought these containers were so cute for $3.99. I'm definitely going to keep those in mind if I want to make my pantry look pretty. I mean, that's the same price as the plastic ones. These jars are $5.99, and I used these in a video a while back to make those oyster jars, and I was able to order these online through Ikea. This is the bedding section. They do have a large variety of bedding to pick from and I love them all. However, they were out of stock on a lot of pieces. And remember that the inserts do not come with it, that you have to purchase that extra. If you want the insert, it's not necessary. I fell in love with this one and ended up purchasing it for my master. I wish it was only $20, but I needed the king size, so it was 40. I still feel like that's a great price. They were out of all like the cooler weather inserts so I'm gonna go without one for now and then I can always get one later if I feel like I need one 
Next, we're gonna hit up the rug section. So they had these little scatter rugs that I think I might go back and pick some up for the boys room. I thought they were so cute for $9.99. I mean, this isn't like an amazing rug, but just for like a little accent rug, it would be very cute. Now, the last time I came a year ago, I was very excited about their rug selection, but this time, however, I just didn't really see anything that I loved. These mats were $9.99. I need a lot of outdoor mats. I didn't pick up any today, but I need to measure my doors and I might come back and get some. Okay, they had like a lot of shelving stuff for really cheap. The shelves were $2.99 and the brackets were $0.75. Cents. They had these wooden brackets. I don't know what the price was on them, but those were really cute. They had this little bar with some hooks on it and it was on sale for $1.99. So I ended up picking that up and putting it in the boys' bathroom so they have a place to hang up their towels until I can get around to remodeling their bathroom. And you remember the last time I came, I bought this and I didn't realize that you had to buy the lighting kit with it. I paid $15.99 for it and it's on sale for $5.99. This is the one that I had turned into that really pretty, pretty cloche. That was fun. And y'all, there were so many other shops around Ikea that I really wanted to go to. There was a big Kirkland's home store. Hadn't been to Kirkland's in forever because they closed the one near my house in Louisiana. But Ren was done. She was not having any more shopping. I think her and my husband have a deal to keep me from spending money because she does not like to go shopping. And unfortunately, I have to bring her with me when I want to do stuff. But this trip was exactly what I wanted. I wanted to look around, see what they have, keep it in the back of my head, especially I think I'm going to go back and just get stuff for my filming room. That way I can just get it set up as quickly as possible so I can get back to making those thrift flips. And of course, I got my curtain rods. Let me show you all what I got. So the size rods I needed were like $1.50 and then you pick out the ends that you want. I like the flat black ones and these were $2. Now I don't like the little hanging piece to like actually hang the curtain rod. I don't like the ones at Ikea. I don't know. I just find they kind of like big and bulky. So I actually ordered those on Amazon and it was like $15.99 for a set of 10 of them. And I'll put those in the description below. And I also ordered like the little rings with the clips from Amazon because you can, I think I ordered like a hundred pack for uh, $25. Um, so yeah, it was a lot cheaper over there. So all together, the curtain rod ended up um, costing me about $6, which isn't bad. I think they have the cafe curtains at Walmart and those are, I believe like 350 or something but they are very tiny looking so these are just like a little bit thicker a little bit nicer but still very inexpensive i don't like the big balls or like any kind of craziness on the end just these simple flat black pieces are exactly what i want i also didn't like any of the curtains at ikea i just didn't find they had any texture to them most of them were just very um solid so i have curtains that are really like on amazon i'll also put them in the description below in case y'all want to check them out and of course once you know i get the rooms decorated i will show y'all but as you probably know my color palette is very neutral um not too too many crazy colors going on and then i only spent sixty dollars which is amazing because do y'all remember what i spent last time was it like four or five hundred dollars but most of that was just for my bedding that i got that i am excited about so, oops, sorry. So at least I got a lot of things I need to put my master bedroom together. So even though the rest of the house may be total chaos, at least when I go into my bedroom, it is somewhat put together. The floor is done. The walls are painted. I'm going to get some curtains up. I got my bedding. I got my bed. I got a mattress. <laughs> so it'll be somewhat together, which is very exciting. I hope y'all enjoyed my little Ikea shopping trip. There will definitely be more of these in the future. Y'all have a wonderful day and I will see y'all in the next video. Hold on one more thing. I wanted to ask y'all if you are a professional Ikea shopper, 
what is your favorite thing to purchase at ikea i find ikea is very overwhelming there's lots of stuff but i want to know like what is your favorite thing what is the best quality for the price what is your go-to pieces at ikea y'all leave me a message in the comments below and let me know what is your favorite so i can be sure to look for that next time all right, for real, I'm leaving this time, guys. Y'all have a good day. Thanks for watching and give this video a